This video will start a series of videos uh, on describing how REDCat can be used as a data collection and storage tool, as well as an overview of the survey functionality in REDCat. So to start, we may start in Project Setup and the Online Designer. And here we'll see a section for data collection instruments. And you can think of an instrument as uh, either a page of a survey if you're doing uh, survey collection or just sections of your data if you're using REDCap solely for data storage. Uh, and so I can create new instruments uh, from scratch, import them um, from the shared library of pre existing instruments, and I can also upload them um, if I'm moving them from somewhere else. And by default, you're going to have uh, an instrument called My First Instrument, and within My First Instrument will be a default field of record ID. And there's always going to be this field. It's going to be the first field in all of your projects. And it's just a way of REDCap separating out data. Um, it's going to start with one and go up from there. And you don't necessarily need to worry about it, but it's going to separate out data uh, so that when you go to analyze, it will be a lot easier. So we'll go back to instruments. And it may make sense for our purposes to rename this uh, to something different. And so we might call this demographics. And I can copy this, this instrument, I can delete it, or I can download it as a zip file. Uh, and that's the same type of zip file that you would use to, to upload an instrument. Um, but we, so we have demographics, and we may want to create another instrument. Uh, and maybe this is current medications. And maybe we want one more. Um, this can be our actual. medication adherence survey. And so now we have three instruments, uh, and I can drag these around if I want to change their um, orientation. Uh, but I have three instruments, and I can add fields to each of those instruments uh, to collect or store different data.